obtain the third degree uh, Taylor's polynomial approximation of the function square root of x about 1 such that x lies between 1 and 1.5. We know that in Taylor series expansion we found out the variation of the function that means how the function varies at the vicinity of a point and here the given point is 1 and uh, it is given that the vicinity of the uh, point lies between 1 and 1.5 and here we have to find out the third degree Taylor's polynomial in Taylor's expansion we know fx is equal to fa plus x minus a divided by factorial 1 then first derivative of the function at x equal to a then plus x minus a whole square divided by factorial 2 then second derivative of the function at x equal to a and plus x minus a whole cube divided by factorial 3 then third derivative of the function at x equal to a similarly you have to find out up to nth derivative of the function and third degree Taylor's polynomial means we have to find out the value uh, up to this this is the third degree of Taylor's polynomial that means we have to find out the first four terms this 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 and this the function is given fx is equal to square root of x so what will be the value of the function at x equal to 1 that is f a or f1 will be equal to 1 because square root of 1 is equal to 1 similarly we will find out the value of the function for the first derivative at x equal to 1 then for the second derivative at x equal to 1 then for the third derivative at x equal to 1 when you find out the first derivative of square root of x, it will be equal to, uh, this is x to the power half. So, the first derivative will be equal to half x to the power half minus 1. So, the, the, this will be equal to 1 divided by it, or half, 1 by 2 square root of x. So, at x equal to 1, f dash 1 will be equal to 1 by 2. Then you find out the second derivative of the given function. Uh, that is square um, second derivative you can find out the second derivative from this if you take the derivative of this function then this this will be equal to the second derivative so derivative of 1 by 2 square root of x this is equal to x to the power minus 1 so this will be equal to 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 then x to the power minus 1 uh, minus half uh, minus 1 that is equal to minus 3 by 2 so this will be equal to minus half into half minus 1 by 4 into x to the power minus 3 by 2 and if you put x equal to 1 here this will be equal to 1 so f double dash or the second derivative of the function at x equal to 1 will be equal to minus 1 by 4 so what will be the third derivative of the function if you take the derivative of this term then this will be equal to minus 1 by 4 and derivative of x to the power minus 3 by 2 with respect to x will be equal to minus 3 by 2 then x to the power minus 3 by 2 minus 1 so this will be equal to minus 5 by 2 so minus again minus it is plus then 3 divided by 8 so 3 divided by 8 into x to the power minus 5 by 2 if you put the value of x equal to 1 then the third derivative of the function at x equal to 1 will be equal to 3 by 8 now you substitute the in these values that is f1 uh, first derivative of the function at x equal to 1 second derivative of the function at x equal to 1 and third derivative of the function at x equal to in 1 in the taylor series expansion so the given function square root of x will be equal to the first term is 1 we have found out the first term is equal to 1 the second term will be equal to x minus 1 because it is x minus a divided by factorial 1. So x minus 1 divided by factorial 1 into f dash 1 that is equal to half. Then the second, third term will be equal to x minus 1 whole square divided by factorial 2 
and f double dash 1 the second derivative will is equal to minus 1 by 4 so into minus 1 by 4 then the third uh, third degree will be equal to x minus 1 whole q divided by factorial 3 and uh, the third derivative of the function at x equal to 1 is equal to 3 by 8 so you multiply 3 by 8 here so if you simplify it the first term will be equal to 1 the second term will be equal to 1 by 2 into x minus 1 because, because factorial 1 is equal to 1 then this third term will be equal to here it is minus so you take minus here so factorial 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 it is equal to 1 by 8 then x minus 1 whole square and the fourth term will be equal to your factorial 3 is equal to 3 into 2 so 3 cancels so you have, here you have 2 so 8 into 2 that is equal to 16 so x minus 1 whole q so in this way you can obtain the third degree Taylor's polyn polynomial approximation of the given function square root of x about 1 thank you